Well, WGU Indiana turned two earlier this month. In its first two years, the state's online university has grown to more than 2,600 students with students or graduates from every county in the state. The school also celebrating some new health care partnerships. Joining me now with more, I'm pleased to be joined as always by WGU Indiana Chancellor Allison Barber. And Allison, welcome to the program. Thanks, Gary. Uh, congratulations on two years. Before we get into WGU, I, I sure. need your reaction to Governor Daniels, uh, who really helped to establish WGU sure. Indiana, taking the position as the president at Purdue. It's exciting, I think. You know, nobody knows better than WGU Indiana about the governor's passion in the area of higher ed. It was his idea to start WGU Indiana. And so his passion led to a new university that now 2,600 students are benefiting from. I think that passion will help Purdue and our state. So we're excited about it. Okay. Let's talk WGU. I mentioned uh, in the introduction there, 2,600 students. You're really touching every county in some fashion. And I know that was a real, when we talked last year, yeah. that was a real focus is to grow the reach of WGU Indiana. You, you, it, exactly it is because since we're all online, right, nonprofit online, that means a few things for us. One, we can reach anywhere in the state of Indiana, and we're affordable for people in Indiana. And so to be able to reach out across the state, all 92 counties, and help people have access to higher education, people who otherwise wouldn't have that chance, it's really exciting for us to see. This is a model, w uh, Western Governors University, uh, WGU Indiana is the first really state model uh, out of the, uh, the the bigger picture. Texas, uh, one, of, one of the states in Washington right. State have followed suit. It's because governors see WGU as a real value add to the state. Remember that we don't take any money from the state. We're self-sufficient uh, mm -hmm. on tu student tuition. So governors around the country are watching what's happened in Indiana. Right? We love being in that place in Indiana mm -hmm. as a leader in the country of saying, boy, if you can educate adults, our average age student is 37, 70% of our adults, our students work full time. This is a very special niche and our university is helping those people succeed and graduate and governors look at that and want to take the same model to their well, state. What's really driving growth? You mentioned uh, Bartholomew County, for example, is one county that really <laughs> yeah. saw a big increase. Sure. What, what's driving that? I think it's two things. I think first of all, it's visibility. When people around the state realize that for the first time, they can go back to college and earn their bachelor's degree or their master's degree and they can do it on their time, right? It's the flexibility and affordability of WGU Indiana. So the visibility of that has made a big difference. And I think the second piece is this uh, word of mouth that we have faculty members that call our students every week. And so sometimes people are a little hesitant about online because it seems distant and removed. When they realize somebody from WGU Indiana is gonna call you each week and help coach you and help you get to graduation, it's a real uh, it's a real win-win for the students and I know as we wrap up uh, getting that uh, degree is a real focus of a lot of folks here in Indiana to try to push that uh, that attainment level up Commission for higher education came out with a report estimating some 900,000 right. jobs or so that will be available a big chunk of those are going to need over education. half over half of the jobs that are coming to Indiana by 2018 so soon people need to get at it mm -hmm. and we can help them half of the jobs will require postgraduate work and so those are the students that we can help and we want to help. All right, WGU uh, Indiana, two years old. Allison Barber, as always, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Gary. We'll talk to you soon.